Hi, 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 everybody. Welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay, guys. So we're back to talk about Banner Pump Rules last night's episode, but also the segue that we've all been waiting for into the valley, which I'm not going to lie. Jason and I were sitting there watching it and we thought it was going to be absolute garbage. Like, not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a shit show. I thought that we were trying to rush in different shows, especially during the actor strike. I didn't think that I didn't think anything good was going to come out of this. But then watching episode one, Jason and I were like, oh, Vanderpump Rules might be over. So before we get in, and we're going to break this all down, I want to ask you guys, instead of rating last night's Vanderpump Rules or the Valley premiere, I want to ask you guys which one you enjoyed more. So pop off in the live chat, smash the like button, show some love, and let's welcome J Money. J hey. Money. I don't call me J Money. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Unless I grab some money. Man, I'm I was literally so shocked because I think last week I was just talking about how boring Vanderpump Rules was. And I was telling you, I think we have a, like a ramp up till the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was going to ramp up. It's going to get better and better. And then we're going to oh. go into this huge finale and great reunion. What? Ah! What? what do you want to say? I have so many questions for you because we didn't even talk last night. Guys, I fell asleep last night because I was tired. I mean, I, it's let's. Okay. So it's been an emotional <laughs> few days, um, yeah. obviously. And you guys know, and we've talked about this, one of the members of the Adams Family community, Moray, who has been in the live chat, um, she unfortunately passed away this past weekend. And we have been talking with our husband, Matt, and her family. And we are trying to figure out a way that we can help them right now, because even though that they don't want to ask for help, um, and they're, they're probably the kindest family that we've ever met. And they became family to us. We hung out with them in Florida, hung out with them in California, all over the place. And just such a nice couple who we became really, really close friends with. Um, we are going to figure out how we can give back in the sense of helping them navigate this unfortunate situation. Um, but with that too... I think last night I had just probably you cried my eyes out. I, I just yeah for the um, last two days. I know, I know, I know, and I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying so hard. Um, right, guys, we're gonna jump into this, but I do have to say, you know, like it's so hard to talk about these. Kind I know, of things, I know, you know, I know, so I know. Maybe but maybe I, on, I, on members we should talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I I wanted to say what the, the point of me saying that was was last night. <sighs> I think that my eyes were just like swollen shut and I did not stay up for the banner pump rules, any of it. I was just like, I'm not, I'm, I'm done. I'm conked out. I can't do it. And so I watched it this morning and I had a different perspective um, because Jason watched it last night. And that's that. I know I kept, I kept looking over to you too. And I'm like, mm -hmm. did you, and then you're like, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Well, this, oh, I was, watch I was alone. Done. Like it's was really, done. really, it's yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's but. a lot. I do have to say, I'm going to go ahead and, and just say, you know, uh, Vanderpump Rules. Sorry, guys. I apologize. Vanderpump Rules is like, it's great. It's it, it last night kind of got me. Maybe I was just in a better mood watching it. I don't know. I really enjoyed the episode um, and I love the transition into the valley. I know we'll get into the valley. I don't want to tell you what I think about the valley until we start talking about it, though. But when we go to Vanderpump Rules, and we go through like, you know, the James and Ally of it all. And then we come to Katie and Lala at the Henry, which, by the way, guys, if you're ever in L.A., West Hollywood, the Henry was like our hangout spot, um, especially before and after work. What did you think about Tom and Ariana being in the same space in a social setting? Oh, who gives a fuck? They live what in do the you same mean? goddamn house. I know, no, but the whole so reason... This is so over dramatized. Oh, it's like, oh, they're in the same space. I understand that Anne is there half the time, but let's be real about this. Anne works nine to five. Okay. Girl works nine to five. She is there. She loves Ariana. She is Ariana's new assistant. Ariana poached her, but wow. really she didn't. And you guys will see in next week's episode because Anne actually called Ariana and said, can I please come work for you instead? Because she was yeah. done working with Tom. 
Or uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to last long being Tom's anything, employee, right. assistant, whatever. Yeah. But my thing is, is like, you know, at the end of the day, Jason, Jason and I had an assistant um, and say you and I were going through a breakup. We know the hours that that person who worked for us was here. What the fuck do you do the rest of the hours? I like, don't know. Like, who do you communicate six, with? Do we just do we text each other and we say like. Hey, I'm going downstairs. Are you going to be upstairs? Are you going to be like, I, it's so awkward. Yeah, it, it really is like, it is weird. I, I do have to say, I think it's because of so much buildup of the show too. And of course, like you're in the same house, right? You're bound to run into one another. You're, you're going to cross paths. You're going to do like the, Hey, kind of awkward shit, whatever. But yeah. I feel like, you know, for everyone else in the situation, them showing up, you know, Ariana showing up later at the Belmont, and having, you know, Tom there and all of these people, it just seems, I don't know. For me, I was like, ugh, I just felt kind of stressed. I was like, this is, this is crazy. Are we going to actually see them communicate? I know, it's so weird. Again, I, I don't know what kind of mood I was in last night, but I was just like, you know, part of me is, it was kind of uh, anxious for that moment. But then part of me was like, um, well, why don't you just talk? Like, you don't have to get along. You know, why don't, why doesn't someone just move? You don't have to get along. Why don't you just communicate? You don't have to get along. It's okay. It's okay. I, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I look at both. Um, I look at both sides of it. Like, why don't you just talk? And it, it almost seems childish to have a go between. Right. Cause it's yeah. like, what are we doing? You know? Yeah. But I'm trying also, to think of the timeline of where we were since all of this happened. A month because, and a half after. It was right. Because you after. see Tom talking to Tom, you know, crying his eyes out um, in his confessionals, talking about Rachel and and talking about how he misses her and how he's journaling. Although, like, I feel like everything that Tom Sandoval does, especially the journaling part or crying, crying in the closet, you took the word right out of my mouth. I was gonna say it's very performative. Yeah. It's like, you know, lights on, curtains open. And here's Tom Sandoval. Like, I don't know. I don't believe it's anything he says or does. Even when they went back to like when he was doing the um, the well, even at the reunion, I sat there and I gave like I, anything that I do is wrong. And then it played at the reunion, him like sitting there crying, like wiping his eyes. And James was like, oh, don't do that, you little bitch. Like, don't sit there and try <laughs> to cry. And then Ariana was like. Don't be a little bitch. Like you are sitting there. You're like, we're not buying the shit that you're feeding. But then to be fair, to match what James and Ariana were saying, then there's the video. And I think that you remember this. I'm not sure. There's the video of him outside trying to get Rachel's story together. And he was trying to rip his mic off and did not want producers catching that conversation because he was trying right. to coach her. And they were not right. letting him coach her. So what James and Ariana essentially were saying was right. Like they're like, you are being performative. And that's exactly what he, he was crying. And then he was outside in the back and he was like reeling. And I mean, reeling, like, um, not like reeling it in, like, a, like, like a, a fishing fucking thing. But I mean, like reeling, like you were like, I got to get ahead of this. I don't know how to get ahead of this. What am I, gonna, I need you on the same page. Like you have to, and then you're trying to figure out, it's like, it's like when you're caught trying to sneak something through TSA at an airport, like when you're trying to sneak your weed through. It's like that. That's how do you know what that, that is? Doing. What what the hell? Well, what? because I watch um smuggled. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> do I not know something about you? No, 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 no. I, no I, I do have, have to say I it is I'm not trying to do that. Sorry. It, it he's a very like he's a very much so uh caricature of himself. And I think I've said that before. Like Tom Sandoval is performing as tom sandoval all the time you know so you don't really get a sense of like where where he stands on things and and, and stuff too i thought um you know oh, can we just talk about tom sandoval and the most extras really quick please? oh wait wait can you say what you said earlier why am i so happy is it the i think it's that you know oh okay yeah it's um the okay the coffee, the coffee is good today, sure. guys. You've had like 15. Okay, so what were you going to say? You made a funny joke because okay. the pool party, the sexy singles pool party, you see all of these people, which by the way, if you guys look at the difference between who Tom Sandoval invited, 
versus who Ariana invited. Ariana invited like the main cast, the main title holders, like everybody Friends. who you would recognize. Friends. Those were the people who were there. And then yeah. with Tom, it's like you got some bitch who looks like Tinkerbell. You got this other one who's like Billy Lee. Around, trying to no, do, I'm just like, you have, I mean, you have every, you have Kyle Chan, Billy Lee, uh, people who uh, just oh. want to be on the show. It's all, it's so funny the to worst. see when Tom, Tom surrounds with himself with yes people, which I don't think is quite healthy, but he surrounds himself with like the Kyle Chans, the Billy Lees, the, the people who want to be seen on the show. Um, that kind of group of people who, who is, honestly, if Tom wasn't on the show anymore, they wouldn't be there. They'd book it. They wouldn't even be there. Who you know, is it's so LA. The person who told us we ran in, do you remember the name of the person who we saw last night on the show told us that they were going to be heavily featured on the show? I forgot the name. Yes, Israel. Israel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you didn't see Israel last night, let me see if I can maybe bring up on Instagram. I have to Israel say- Israel used to work at Schwartz and Sandy's as a host and then wasn't making the buck. So moved over to Sir as a host. Great host, great person, full of energy, tall, mm -hmm. black, beautiful. Like you've seen him yeah. on the show. He was yes. on last season, I think a little bit, but this season he's going to be featured. There he is. Yeah. You know uh, what though? What What's so interesting about this is having a conversation with Israel. This was what right before Sheena's show. Is that when we talked? Yes, when we were at Sir the day before Sheena's show. The day in August, right? Yes. Oh yes. my God, this has been almost a year, and we had a conversation, and I saw so much of me in Israel because Israel was sitting there letting us know how this whole experience has changed his life has like changed everything um, that's going to be heavily featured filming and all of these things. My first year going to Sir, I felt the exact same way. I was, I filmed with Sheena. I went out to things. I did things. And I remember telling my family, guys, wait until you see, I'm going to, and it's so naive to the process, right? Like not understanding it's fucking not, none of this is about me and it doesn't surround me at all. But you think because you have the cameras and you do, and you go and you, you're, you're a filler. You're a sure. person who's an extra essentially. And that's sure. what it is. Right. So just seeing this, I remember but when we also, sat there on this show though, on the show though, there can be featured extras extra extras like i would say let's let's if we can go through them i would say like um the most thirsty extra would probably be brett uh kenyan and then there'd probably let me let me think of the billy lee well, very thirsty Brett's extra at me right now kyle chan is a featured extra israel kyle is me kyle Brett's has good me. energy or sorry not kyle what am i talking about israel has really good energy though mm -hmm. i yeah. i'm we still haven't seen the rest of the season. I hope we see more of him on the season because I think he would bring something. I just don't think we're going to see another season. So I don't think there's really much you can you know, I, do now. Okay, so I agree with you. I think that Israel brings great energy. I think that Kyle Chan, and I, I don't even care at this point. Like, even when I see him, I saw him at the season 11 premiere party. And I just like, I don't even ignore him. I'm like, if you want to come up and have a conversation, you can. I think that he is probably, it's just so thirsty. It's like uh, I listen, want to everyone's draw. thirsty. Everyone's know, thirsty when it comes I, to You know TV, what? It's it's right? so hard for me to it's hard for me to be around, I think, because you and I have been in it for so long. And I think that we so far removed ourselves. And I think that sometimes when you're in something, you have like the rose colored glasses, right? But then one, sure. once you like remove yourself, you kind of can look at it from a different perspective. And that's essentially how I felt. And like watching some of these people who just saw a moment of weakness for somebody that the whole world hated and to just crawl up his ass in order to have the attention and have the Billy Lee, Kyle Chan, like it's kind of, it's almost comical, right? It's, because you see them. And then I'm the one who gets in trouble when we go to events or whatever. And it's like, I know, oh, well, because I'm always the one talking the shit and you're not. And then you get in trouble for it at the events. I do have to say, like, okay, someone else on the show, though, that I really don't understand why they had a confessional at all is is Joe. I'm waiting oh, to figure sorry. out why Joe is there. Do we know why Joe is there yet? Because um, what I want to yeah. see is what we saw between Katie and Lala sitting down at the Henry. What I want to see is everyone at the Belmont. You know what I mean? If you 
spin over to the Belmont, you see Lala's husbands, right? Logan and Leo. Leo used to be a manager at Tom Tom and Pump. Logan, you know, has been around this crew since like day one, right? So I understand why they're there, but Did we have Leo another quit? extra situation. Pump? No, he was at Tom Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to Tom Tom, remember? Mm -hmm. Um, but this situation is what I don't want to see the extras. I don't I don't care what's happening and what they're talking about and how they fit in. What I want to see is that is exactly what I wanted to see last night. Ariana and Tom in the same social setting together. And I have to tell you, for seven episodes, six, seven episodes, Sheena has been annoying the hell out of me on TV. Like really, really, I'm really annoying. Until last night, why. I was like, Sheena's right. Well, here's the thing. The Dancing with the Stars thing really needs to, we need to, that's it. We're done with that. Dancing with there. the Stars didn't ask you, okay? Ariana is not in charge of that. Ariana is not, you know, taking that away from you in, in any capacity. It's right. just, it's, it's ridiculous. Sometimes totally she gets fair. mad totally fair. and she gets like kind of upset and makes things about her when they're not about her. And that kind of drives me nuts. But she had a really shining moment last night where um, she's talking to Sandoval and she's like, let your ego go, humble yourself. And Sandoval gets pissed. He's like, I'm tired of, of being everyone's whatever, stomping, uh, whatever, stomping mad and blah, everyone hates me. And it's like, but you still really haven't taken that, that moment to center and really apologize. Every apology that Tom has given has kind of been a little superficial, in my yeah. opinion, especially when he was talking to Katie, when Ariana left and Katie was still there. And um, he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I, I just made mistakes. It's like, duh. I mean, I had to agree with Katie there too, who I don't always agree with, but actions speak louder than words and words can have meaning behind them. I just didn't feel any meaning behind yeah. them, you know? No. So I feel like Sheena was right in that moment. She's like, you need to take your ego out of it. And like I said before, Tom performs as Tom, a caricature of Tom. So he's not able to really have those real feelings come out at this moment. And it's so fresh, you know, we're watching this a year later, so we're nine months later or whatever. So it's still fresh and I understand, but man, time's ticking. You gotta, you know, be pull humble, it together, home girl. pull it together. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, I think to be fair, that's exactly right. Now on top of this and last night, I was episode... sorry, I don't want to interrupt. I need to oh, back no. up a little bit. Cause I'm looking okay. at my notes and I wrote down in my note, I was like, you know, um, he gets so sorry. <laughs> he gets so defensive, right? And he doesn't. He feels like what the scapegoat and um, whatever. But maybe you feel like you've taken responsibility personally. But this is the TV show, and I think that the cast needs that on camera, and the audience needs that on camera. So I'm curious if we're going to get it at all because I, I I saw us go that way, you know, after Lake Tahoe and everything. But I haven't seen that happened yet okay sorry no well to answer a few of the things i don't necessarily know why joe was on there i think that this was a season where they were trying to figure out what sticks and what doesn't um especially if you look at joe's oh god guys if you look at joe i don't even know if jason pulled a photo of it I'm, I'm, which is probably is good right um if you look at joe's confessionals they're so bad uh and I, I'm only saying that because Joe is a hairdresser. Like, you know, one person I have to say, and I have to give like a... Wait, why is to, Joe a hairdresser I have bad a confessionals? To, hold on really quick. These I have servers have been giving confessionals for years. I'm giving a tribute to this. Okay. Madison LaCroix is one of our good friends, right? She's on Southern Charm. Love, 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 love her. God, she always looks like a million bucks. The girl can dress. The girl is spot on. The girl looks like money, right? She looks like you walk into a place. When she walks in, you're staring at her. You're not even looking at your wife anymore, your husband, your who. I don't care what you are. You're looking at her. She just commands that kind true. of attention. True. And she was a hair person, a hairstylist, right? So that makes sense because she does her own hair. She doesn't have a glam squad. She does everything on her own. And she looks like she knows what she's doing. And then I compare that to Joe, who is also from the same profession. And I'm like, oh, no, girl. <laughs> if I had to pick between her or you doing my hair or doing anything to do with me, I'm picking the one who looks like 
they know what the hell they're doing. Not like you look like you took a shroom or two and you're all of a sudden like caking up my face. No, <laughs> you're, I'm going to walk no, out looking like Ronald I think, McDonald. I think the difference is, you know, um, just to give Joe a break, you know, these people have been doing reality TV for a long time. They were, you know, not very good at confessionals season one, you know, and we didn't break that in until later. But I feel like Joe is there to just give Tom Schwartz some kind of support because <laughs> there's not much story happening with Tom Schwartz. If you think about it, he's in his bachelor pad. Now this whole Joe storyline is, is going on because, you know, he's not up Tom's asshole right now. N everyone's mad at Schwartz. It, it just, it just, well, I think that remember, like, she's just there for that. I mean, do I, I don't the first see any other reason. That, um, sorry to interrupt, but do you remember the first season that Ariana was on? And she said about Kristen Doty, I'm smarter than you. I'm prettier than you. I'm better than you. Get the fuck over it. <laughs> yes. And that yeah. was her first season. So Sheena just admitted on a recent podcast episode on shenanigans that she begged Ariana to come on that season, that season that she came on, because had she not have come on, she wouldn't have had a job because Sheena had nobody to film with. The girls and the guys did not want to film with Sheena. So she needed that. And that long story, like, I know I'm saying this in a roundabout way, but I think that that might also apply to Tom Schwartz because Tom has Tom Sandoval to film with, yes, but Tom Sandoval has like an arc. There's like a whole thing going on with him, and it's not really about Schwartz. So Schwartz no, it's never been about person. Schwartz. It's, it's never, never, been about Schwartz. never been about right. Schwartz. You right. know, even being with Katie, it wasn't about Schwartz. Schwartz can even make a drink at pump. You know, even when Tom Tom was opening, Schwartz is in the background. He's in the sidecar of the motorcycle. It's never about Schwartz. So I feel like having Joe on is just like really, really trying to save any kind of story or anything that's going on, you know? What did you think about the conversation when, well, one, fucking poor Anne. Can I say, too, another thing is when Jason and I, it's so weird because, and not to sound like, oh, my God, a savior and whatever, you know, Jason and I have an Airbnb, right? And so we have people who come and like they take care of the Airbnb and they make sure that it's clean and everything for the next people coming because it's like mm -hmm. throw. It's like somebody is coming to live in this as their house for two days or a week. It doesn't matter. Now, I think people know what Airbnb is. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but when we had our assistant, never, never would we ask, can you do our laundry? Can you take out the litter box? Can you clean our dishes? Like I just would never have asked that. Can you sweep our house? Can you clean our house? Like, can you imagine? Remember, we we talked about this and we never asked any of that. And just to see that Anne is like cleaning up after all of these idiots who like came over and they got fucked up and they're doing the sexy singles pool party. And I'm just like, if I were Anne, I would just be like, no wonder she asked to work for Ariana. And yeah, I feel like it'd be different to work for Ariana because I feel like Ariana is kind of has a different career tra trajectory than than Sandoval at this point. Right. Um. So, yeah, poor Anne. I do want to just jump into something random that I saw last night. And I know we saw it last season. What? But this season, you can tell that this is Bravo's top show. The production value is so good. You know, the you way they're so? filming now. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I just feel I, it's a total difference than like the first nine seasons. Like we stepped up when we had Scandal, but I noticed that when it was like the first two episodes of this season, I just got to give a nod to whoever's in charge of those cameras and that production value because it's really, really looking good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. Now, with that, what did you think about Sheena's conversation with Ariana about what would what would you think if years from now, if I ended up being friends with Tom again? Um, I, I don't know if that's any of Ariana's business. You know what I mean? Like if if you're talking years, I mean, right now it's fresh. The wound is open. It's fresh when the wound heals, you know, because time does heal everything, especially when it comes to relationships and, and stuff like that. Yes, it was a huge scandal. No, they're not married. Yes, it, it was very different than, let's say, uh, Lala and Randall and all these other things. I, I think that in a few years, I, it's okay. Why wouldn't it be okay? You know, because maybe we, we'll see Tom change. Maybe we'll see him 
I don't know, evolve. <laughs> Who knows? I, I think that um, Catherine Calvert makes a great point saying, I thought Ariana gave her more grace than I would. I think that Ariana has been giving a lot of grace this season. And it's so funny because people are so quick to be upset with her because they're looking at it from the timeline of this was over a year ago. But we have to remember while filming, it was not over a year ago. And for Ariana, she's like, I get that you're feeling these things. I understand that you're hurt. I, I want you to do whatever works for you. And if that doesn't work for me, then I'm going to take myself out of it, which I think that she's pretty much she's being transparent. I mean, she's transparent. And I I told I said this last week, I think. I've been in that situation where I was cheated on many times. And when I found out, the friends, all my friends, they gather around in a circle. They support you. That, oh my God, I can't believe he did that to you. That's our friend too. But then it shifts and then it changes. And it's like, wow, well, so-and-so is doing really well right now. I think you need to, you know, people start to tell you how you should feel, how you should heal how you should forgive and there's no right way what ariana is going through right now what we're watching on tv it's still fresh i right. understand where sheena is coming from sheena has known tom just as long as ariana if not longer villa blanca days before sir was a was a thought before vanderpump rules was on the air so i get she has a long-standing relationship with tom but i feel like it's okay to like take a minute you right. know right. take a minute but when when if she's asking about years later, that's different. That's different. Yes. Okay. So last but not least, to wrap up Vanderpump Rules before we get into the valley, thoughts about queuing in Mr. Jax Taylor. You guys are gonna hate me for saying this. I hate myself for saying this. Oh God. I'm not a Jax fan. I'm but not a Jax fan. I know that. But Jax appearing on Vanderpump Rules makes me miss the OG cast and miss why Vanderpump Rules was so good in the first place. This is a TV villain at its finest. This, he doesn't care. He's just out there. Like he comes in hot. He comes in hot all the time. We saw it in the Valley episode one already, but it just makes me miss that whole, that whole thing. Era. I just, this was a little performative though, you know, too. Oh, this it whole was thing. totally this was fucking all, performative. All oh my God. Bring in, all just to bring in the valley. I love the transition into the valley. I honestly but, do. By the way, though, you and I, and not to interrupt you again, sorry, I'm so sorry. You're but fine. like you and I know that he was sent in. It was like when somebody gives you a task, you better complete that task and exactly you have a what big it was. reward hanging up at the he knew that the segue was counting on this performance of him walking into this Absolutely. exact scene. He knew what it was. That's why he walked in and he's like, I would never take restaurant advice from them. And who's not talking about you? I mean, he's not wrong. I wouldn't take restaurant advice from Tom and Tom either. I Owning mean, 2 I know, if you weren't, is... if you weren't filming a show, the audacity, like it wouldn't be, you just would not navigate a conversation like this. You know, it's only yeah. performative for a show. Of course it is. Uh, that, yeah. It was that whole that whole scene with what the four or five of them sitting mm -hmm. there at the table. Jacques came in for a quick drink, a quick moment, got got some things out and then walked away. That that it we felt that. Everyone felt that. But having Jax there at Tom Tom on Banner from Rules again, I was like, oh man, I forgot how much I love to not like you. You know yeah. what I mean? And it makes me want to watch. What is that called? Like, I'm hate watching you, right? But I mean, I love I, it. He's TV. He's TV. And like, this is this is what, you know, when we when we talk about like Tom Schwartz has nothing going on this season so far. Right. So it's kind of like, uh, and then we have all the extras like trying to get in, but they're not. Well, any it, of these it's cast kind of, members. Lisa Renna's a good Lisa Renna's a good like we miss her. She was an asshole. Uh, but she's a great she's great TV. Great. TV. She's great TV. She got a little dark that last season of, of Beverly Hills, but she's great TV. Mm -hmm. But yes, the transition into the Valley was, was, uh, was quite good. It was quite good. I haven't seen a transition quite like that since Beverly good. Hills into Vanderpump rules. Oi, oi, oi. All right. You guys. know, so I'm not going to lie. I've drank so much soda water, so I'm going to go pee really quick, but I'm going to let Jason kick uh, off and ask you guys questions about the Valley right before I go. Um, good luck.
it'll be three minutes. <laughs> well, guys, I just want to tell you, as we did last week, we do have a lot of sponsors on the channel right now. And I want to go ahead and clarify that we don't take on or promote sponsors that we don't use or love ourselves. So I wanted to go ahead and bring up our sponsor for today, which is Factor Meals. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. We um, were told about Factor Meals through our realtor, actually, who's super busy. And he's like, guys, I know you guys are busy running around. You have to try this. It's not the same frozen meals you get you know, from other brands. They are fresh. They're delivered straight to your door. You refrigerate them. And what I love, because right now I'm on a, a little bit, let me, let me lower this really quick so you can see me, a little bit of a weight loss journey. Everyone has you know, an idea of where they're supposed to be or how they're supposed to be. And right now I'm trying to just get healthier and in better shape. And the great thing that I love about Factor Meals is that they have calorie smart meals, which I am using. I know Adam is getting the protein plus meals, but they have keto, vegan, anything that you could possibly think of. And right now with inflation, um, it's almost cheaper <laughs> just doing this. And then if you're busy, you pop a meal, open it up, heat it up, you're ready to go. So if you guys are interested at all, head on over to factormeals.com slash upandadam50 and you use the code upandadam50 to get 50% off factorymeals.com slash up and Adam 50. Use the code up and Adam 50. It's really, really good. It's good. Adam, I know you'll agree with me. Hello. Yes, back <laughs> again. Actually, my favorite, but everybody already knows that because I've talked about it a million times. And also, it's something that's helping me getting well, healthy, get healthy and yeah, in shape. It, yeah. It's good. You know, like we go to the grocery store all the time, and I don't mean to carry this on because, um, I'm going to talk about the Valley, but we go to the grocery store all the time. And I feel like we don't use half the groceries we get. And Joanne what we're paying for groceries right now. It's like the link, Joanne the link is the in link. the link is in the description below. Okay. Of this video. So now on top, hold on. I'm going to just go ahead and post that link. Now, Jason and everybody in the live chat rate. I want to know, and I'm posting the link right now for you, Joanne. I just posted it. Um, what would you rate the valley one to 10, 10 being the highest? Man, I can't, you know, I wanted to rate it a one before I even saw it. I was talking so much smack and so much shit about it for a minute. And I actually really enjoyed watching it. And I don't know, really quick, I don't know if it's because I'm around the same age group as them. And it's kind of a nice like carryover because, you know, you and I worked in this environment for a long time. Yeah. Now in Vanderpump Rules, it's not about working in the restaurants, right? We're watching them grow and evolve, have families, move to the valley, which most of them lived in anyway. Um, we did. And then, you know, go into this life. It, it's almost like what Vanderpump Rules is becoming, you yeah. know, if that makes sense. So it, it is kind of nice. And I was actually surprised. I'm going to have to give that first episode like a solid seven. And I don't know if anyone else is going to feel like this at all, but I enjoyed seeing Jax on TV. I like seeing this kind of age range, this age group, because for me, they're all the same age. Um, and I really, I really enjoy the cast. I feel like they all have like a, a good, I don't know, good personalities for TV. I mean, we are all over the board. Okay, Seven, Elaine, five, the five, six, five. <laughs> three incredible anyways at three six seven two five point five i mean it's everywhere what would you rate it and how did you feel about it um honestly guys i would give it a six or a seven for a premiere episode i thought that it was pretty strong um gotta say one of my favorites coming out of the premiere episode would janet. be janet and you know janet was there janet was so funny when we helped Sheena with her live show because I was walking through and I was walking past and guys, especially a live show. I make sure that my pants are tight. My ass is out. My fucking belt is on and I look like snatched. I don't care if, as long as I have two weeks in advance, I am sitting there and I'm like juicing the hell out of myself and it's water, water, water. And I'm making sure it looks good. And Janet said to me at Sheena's show, she was like, Oh my God, you and your husband, like I was just, I didn't know who the fuck you guys were. I was like, <laughs> I don't know why I recognize them, but they are so hot. And I said, Oh, that's, that you know, I, you I, I it's funny. We made eye so contact nice. and we passed and I waved and then I went and I was going to go back and find her and she already left and uh, I messaged her, but she's, she's actually really good. I think her and Jason are like that kind of, um, 
soft comedic relief that we need yeah. in the show right now, yeah. right? They're kind of good energy. You just well, you have it. And people forget too, by the way, like, and she even forgot. Janet, I've known for fucking years. I just never really hung out with her, but you just see everybody in passing. And Jason has also known her for years. Jason used to serve her and all of her drunk friends. <laughs> like we we've just been around each other for a long time. So it is fun. It's fun to see the evolution of that the one that the person that we knew at that time to now her with her husband. I think that she is such comedic relief. I love the way that she talks and she's so calm with her deliveries, but she also has the little zingers in there. I think that she's good. Um, next, what did you think about Zach finally getting the moment yeah, that he's been why? waiting for? I think it's thirsty. I don't understand it. Um, I, he just seems annoying, but we're in episode one, so I don't want to judge him too much. You know what I mean? But I, not my favorite. It, it's just, you know, it, it's here. It, it's almost like he doesn't fit in in a way. Can I you know, say really they, quick? They're all coupled up. They all have families. And I know Jasmine, Jasmine Good, you know, she's be it, sir. I know that she's not coupled up or anything like that, but she's good TV. Like, I was shocked. I was like, I'm like, I like you. I could. Did you, you think know? she was good? I thought she was good. My first impression is good. Okay, my first impression of Zach one of them made is sense. not good. But you need the you need the filler people, right? Without having all the extras, they don't have extras to choose from who work in the hold restaurant. On, hold on, hold hanging on, hold on. on. Wait, wait. I think that I think after watching Real Housewives of Miami and having the friends up be, you know, Adriana Demora. Kiki Barth and Marisol Patton, they brought it to a whole new level where it's like the friends of right. are are taking it and they're in it to win it and we just don't understand why they they don't have the same contract and then watching last night i was like it's almost like i just i don't know i didn't i didn't feel that way i didn't feel that but it's episode I, hey, listen one. first impression it's episode one you can't just judge everything based on you know you can't judge a whole show based on the first episode right i was just shocked that i i, I liked it uh jasmine I was like, okay, she's interesting. Zach, I found kind of annoying. I do have to say, I really love the contrast of Kristen and Luke. And I can't yeah. wait to see more about this. Um, who else do we have? We have Danny and is it Nia? I don't want to like. They are so, by the way, gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Yes. Great. And I love, they're the ones Miss who USA. don't live in the valley, right? He was on iCarly. Yes. I remember um, the little shade from last night too. Of like, well, we don't live in the valley. <laughs> I was like, this is funny. They're, Wait, that they're interesting. Them. Who was that it? Was her. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, but that's. And you didn't you didn't pull a photo of his man, but he's on here. He's. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's no. right there in the blue. Friend. On the, in the yellow. This is his wife, Miss USA. No, that is his wife. Please go to the cast photo. Yeah. Bitch, okay. I'm at the cast photo. Look at it. Great. Great. The live lucky. chat help me. The, these two are together. That's what I just said. Oh, okay. I, well, you brought up her. Oh, no, they, oh, they the don't live in, live in the valley. Yes. I was like, wait a minute. Am I? What? Where are we today? Where are we? <laughs> anyway, okay, I love both of them. Okay. I cannot wait until we see more of the <laughs> more of him. I think he's going to have my... I think he's he going to take like Jax's spot Grande, on the throne. Frankie Grande, but straight. Oh, no. He doesn't look like Frankie Grande. He's way better looking I mean, than Frankie Grande. I mean, he's better looking. Frankie Grande is a little terrifying to look but, at. You but, you know, Luke, like I was just saying, Luke and Kristen, a very contrasting personalities. Very interesting. I'm really curious to see how this, this goes. I know they're still together, I think, right? Yeah. But also yeah. to be to be fair too for Luke and Kristen, I think that these are sometimes the best relationships. I think that you cannot have two alphas or two betas or you ha you know what I mean. And she is totally Kristen Doty is an alpha woman, and she yeah. is straightforward. She's going to be in your shit. If there's something to expose, she's going to find it out. If you are ever trying to be a sneaky motherfucker around her, she is going to make sure that everyone knows and then you have luke who kind of just flies under the radar and he's just happy to go with the flow you know so you need both of those personalities i think that oh 100 percent. but we actually have, who's the alpha and who's the beta between you and i 
I, I guess it depends on the situation, though. I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm the alpha. No, I think you, I think you pretend to be the alpha, but you're really? not. Really? Yeah, I think. Am so. I the beta? I, I think you're the beta. Even no, the dogs bitch. think you're the beta. Yeah. They, oh, the dogs they, do. They, 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 <laughs> I got, I got the shit slapped out of me this morning. <laughs> do you remember that? We we're sitting at the end of the bed, and all of a sudden, I was like, "Hi, BB." And then she came over and gave me a big kiss. Okay, so I do want to say it is kind of like a whose dick is bigger contest between Kristen. Please remind me of this guy's name. Uh, is it Danny? I'm going to call him douchebag. Or Jesse. Is it Danny or Jesse, guys? Help me I out don't, in the live chat. Who fucking anyway, cares? Douchebag. No, I care because I like him. And then, of course, you know, Jax. Like, I think it's going to be so fun to watch all of these heavy, Jesse. heavy personalities. Yes, Jesse. Thank you. Heavy, heavy personalities go at it. I'm actually kind of excited for this. This is it, it. This was a surprise. I didn't expect that I would like this at all. And I'm like, okay, I could watch this. This is good. I, I like it too. But you know what? The one thing that I, the fact that, and I, it's so hard for me to watch. And I, I think that sometimes I see it with James Kennedy too. And I think it's something that's becoming a little bit more normalized, which I think is just a crock of bullshit. And this is just my opinion. And I can say whatever I want. Jason is not the alpha. Okay. Okay. But what's your thought? <laughs> Jax goes on and he's like freaking out like this and he just snaps on everyone. And it's like, and then, you know, he did an interview with his wife, Brittany, and he said, you know, sometimes she gets mad at me over the, the relationship and stuff, but she doesn't realize this is my fucking brain. And it's like, you are sitting there. The, the fact that you are able to enable yourself by saying it's your brain but then in the same the same conversation he said why do you think vanderpump rules was so successful it's because of the same brain it's just like a douche but i find jack i know but probably I, I, one of the biggest idiots we, that i've ever met in my life adam and we all do but this is what makes tv no okay? i think this it's is, great tv i just think he's an it's idiot great t he's great for of course i mean okay but he's great tv i think so i just love seeing the the who's Dick is bigger contest. I'm excited to get to know the ladies. I like you said though. I think Janet was kind of like good, probably a comedy. Yeah, factor. she was probably the standout for me. Um, Brittany's like not the best TV. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's still early, guys, for the Valley. But I do have to say, I'm, I'm looking at the show. I'm seeing Lala come into the show and Sheena come in, and Brock like is cameos. a part of the show. I love the cameos, and they are at that spot that all of these other cast members are with Can I, kids, with a with a family, and I, I really see. Yeah, did you did you find anyone to be trying too hard? No, but before before did you I think Lala that, or Sheena tried too hard? No, I don't think so. I I, I just want to say uh, before I really think that's where it's heading. You know what I mean? Because Vanderpump Rules has seen its day where they're working at the restaurants and now they've evolved into families and stuff like that. And that was the whole purpose of the Valley. That's what was going to happen anyway before Scandival. This would drizzle off. The Valley would, you know, pick up. Um, I really think that that's what we're going to see. And I'm I'm kind of here for it because there's no more Vanderpump Rules working at the restaurants. Now we're, we're evolved. We're here. And I think this is good. But um, this is not yeah. not true, by the way. I don't I don't think anybody tried too hard to be honest. I didn't I didn't think it was it was a first episode. If anyone tried hard it would have to be Zach for me, but other than that I I think it's going to be worth worth a watch and worth talking about. Let's just say that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm so sorry to Zach Wickham. I do not find him to be compelling reality TV. And that's fine. Honestly, that is okay because Zach might be able to go on his platform and say I think that Adam is garbage YouTube. And that's okay. We all have opinions. So I'm just yeah. saying like Zach Wickham is the Teddy Mellencamp of the Valley for me. Okay. That's a really, I don't think he's that bad. <laughs> let's, let's give Zach a break. Episode one on the new show. Okay. Teddy Mellencamp has had seasons, friend roles, uh, a cast member, and it's just been a fail. But Janet, um, however, is giving me, if Stassi had like, you know how like there's like an evil witch and a good witch? Like what what is it called? What is that movie that Ariana Grande just did? Wicked. <laughs> Wiccan? Based off the Wizard of Oz, which I'm sure you haven't seen, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Wiccan. And Wicked. 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 And there's two of them. 
Which is? Yes, one is a good witch. The witch from the, the east and the witch from the west. And Janet is the good witch. Okay. So it's a great analogy. Go watch great Wicked. Analogy. Duh. Duh. Thank you, Jason. All right. Well, I, I think we wrapped up the Valley and Vanderpump Rules. I thought that was a good, like, kind of conversation. I do have to I do have to say, though, I think that um, Vanderpump Rules is ramping up right now. And we're just going to see it get better. I think the finale is going to be amazing. And I think we have a good start to the Valley. It's It makes it makes Tuesday nights good. You know, we have below deck Monday nights. Now we have two um, on Tuesday nights. So I'm excited. Yes. Also, Renee B said, not fair, Adam. My bestie is a brilliant hairdresser. On her work days, she is cover girl ready. On her off days, she looks homeless. Well, hey, that's I true. agree with you, Renee. You see Adam when he's not on the camera. <laughs> and I look like garbage. But also, to be fair, Joe was filming a confessional. So is that not considered a work day? That's all. Next. Um, but da, 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 I love when you two work together. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to. I feel like I probably did something wrong during this live, and I'm probably going to hear about it after, but I don't even care. Guys, Jason and I, by the I, way, I again, going on. we're going to we're gonna be um, posting in the community tab for you guys to see how we can get back to Marae and her family. But I do agree with Jason. I think that we covered everything. Um, we're getting ready to head out of town today. So, um, Jason, did I miss anything? Did you miss anything? I, no, I don't think there's anything else we could possibly talk about about those two episodes last night. It was great. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we love you. Smash that like button. Show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And we have more videos rolling out your way. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.